Let's graph the equation y equals 3 minus x. We use a table of values, and then we use slope-intercept form. So let's use a table of values. So we'll put values in for x, get a value for y, then we graph it, and we'll get the graph for y equals 3 minus x. You can use any numbers you want. I'd like to start with 0, because 3 minus 0, that's 3. How about 1? 3 minus 1 is 2. And how about 2? 3 minus 2 is 1. So now I could just graph these points, and that'll give me the line for y equals 3 minus x. First point, 0 is x, y is 3. Right there. Then we have x is 1, and y is 2. And our last point, x is 2, y is 1. You can see the line there. Let's put a line through that. And that's the graph for y equals 3 minus x. Let's put arrows to show it goes to infinity, and there you have it. Let's try this with slope-intercept form. So I want the x to be here up front. So I'm going to say y equals minus x plus 3. It's the same thing, but now I have my y-intercept right here, which is 3. So I can just go here and go up to 3 on the y-axis. There's my y-intercept. For the slope, let's call this minus 1x. Same thing. And even we can call it minus 1x over 1. It's still just minus x. But now we can say negative 1 is the rise. 1 is the run. So typically, rise over run, you would rise from the y-intercept 1 and then run 1. But this negative here means we're not going to rise. We're going to go down 1 and then run 1. From there, go down 1, run 1, and so on. And it's the same line that we got before, which kind of makes sense. It's the same equation. But that's it. This is Dr. B graphing the equation y equals 3 minus x, or you could call it y equals minus x plus 3. Thanks for watching.